I've been on Barksdale Air Force Base for three and a half years. Uh, July 19th will be my fourth year in the Air Force. So my duty as a dedicated crew chief is to make sure that my aircraft 1006 is good to go. Everything I should know about it, from every little rivet to bolt to a leak, anything I should know about my jet. So on a daily basis, we get a basic setup. A basic setup is your launch box. It has all your communication stuff in it. You have headset, ear defenders, com cord. Uh, we have a TO, which is a tool used for our tech data that we have to follow anytime we're doing a task out there on the jet. Uh, hydro spray and rags. And that's mostly it. So recently I've just been doing whatever I've been tasked with. Uh, we've been launching out about four jets a day to higher tasking, faster pay. So I've been helping out wherever it's needed to be, towing, refueling other jets, doing anything needed to help other people get their jets in the air that aren't here, that are deployed. Okay, so right now what we're doing is we're refueling. We have our truck that's connected to the pit. The, these pits are activated by the fuel guys. And what they do is they send the fuel to these pits, the trucks pump them out of the pit and pump them into our jet. We have a guy upstairs that's monitoring the fuel flow. We can be going all the way up to 300,000 pounds of fuel. Yeah, you know, what I'm saying is like attached in on the window because he said that. Oh, uh, we're trying to get the nut on the back side of the screw. The bracket that's on the other side is about a centimeter away from the back of that screw. So trying to get a nut on the back end of that that's having barely any space and you can't really turn it any but that much trying to get it on the back of a screw is uh, very difficult. You have minimum space to work with, so. Yeah. Well, we actually are providing a mission and we're not just training all the time. Uh, it's really hard on it, it's very stressful. You know, in the beginning, I wasn't the biggest fan of it, but it just I had to give it a little time, work hard, and you gotta take pride in what you do and actually see the bigger picture. What? You didn't drop it, did you? No, God. <laughs> Please don't drop it. The mission for the B-52 is nuclear deterrence, that's what we're mostly known for. We are known all over the world to be the force to be reckoned with. I've been trained to find everything that's wrong with my jet that I'm possibly able to do and uh, make sure that that jet's flying safely, keeping everybody on board uh, alive and safe. If we didn't find some of those things, our jet would break and maybe not make it back home or not meet the mission. Launching my jet, it's, um, it's a great feeling of pride, you know, like that's my jet. I got it off the ground, you know, I've, I keep that mission capable. And it can be intimidating on your first couple times, but it's pretty empowering.